All right, good morning, everybody. We're getting in the car early today, and you might be asking yourself why we're getting in the car so early. Oh, God, metal, metal sunglasses might have been a mistake. Holy shit. Um, ow. If I don't burn my face on the way to the train station, we're going to the train station, and you might be asking, why are you going to the train station? It's a weekend, and you'd be correct. It is indeed a weekend, but um, we're going because, for those of you who don't know, our anniversary of one year of dating is in 10 days, kind of neat and so because I've got her presents already but she's decided to take me to get my present from you ready for it the SEPTA store for those of you not from Philadelphia or who have just ignored it SEPTA does have a store uh, the address is 1234 market easiest address to remember in the city and they're open until three days so we're gonna go catch us our seven it is 1144 in the morning right now the train comes at 1210 which means we've got 25 minutes to actually get down there. I'm gonna do this just so we have a little bit of breathing room. It's rather warm today, to say the least. It's a little bit on the, the downright hot side, to be to be frank, or maybe not frank, depending on maybe maybe, your name maybe is. be earnest. Yeah, maybe. But yeah, so that's the plan right now. Is we're actually gonna go downtown. Uh, go downtown. Have a good time downtown. Because the SEPTA store is fun. I almost finished cutting the vlog from this morning, but we ran out of time just because I didn't realize that they moved this train up because it's a, uh, like I was thinking, oh, we'll have like an extra 10 minutes or so, but no, this train is actually about 10 minutes earlier than it usually is because they redid the schedule. So now they don't come exactly on like the 18 after or whatever anymore. Actually, we can go up to Croydon. We have enough time. It's only quarter after. Do we want to go up to Croydon? Sure, let's be adventurous. Oh yeah, super adventurous. To Croydon, because- Because we're not gonna get on to Eddington. Oh God, no. no. <laughs> we might as well go up to Croydon. It only takes a few extra minutes. And all trains stop at Croydon, unlike Eddington. I don't even know if this train would stop at Eddington. But oh well, let's head up there. Um, because why not? It's the SEPTA gift store. Or between 12th and 13th at Market, we need to get on the other side, but of course they had the sidewalk closed. So we need to cross, but that's where we got to go. You excited? Yeah. You ready for this? Sure. So we're at the, we're uh, at 1234 Market. That's Market up there. We actually stopped in the SEPTA store. I'll show off what we got a little bit later on. And this is the trolley. Mm -hmm. Remember spending a lot of time in this trolley as a kid when we came down here? What do you think of this? This is really cool. Yeah. The old PTC trolley. You can go on. Thank you. You wanna go on? Sure. Well, I guess I'd show off the, the trolley real quick here. So this is visible right from the L's 13th Street station. So if you're ever passing by the L on 13th Street, that's exactly where we are. Like you can literally walk in here if you come off the L. So this is a PTC trolley. And for those of you who don't know, PTC is actually uh, SEPTA before SEPTA, essentially, Philadelphia Transit Company. But you're perfectly free if you want to board this trolley and come in here and climb around and kind of see how, uh, how things were quite some time ago. Now this trolley is um, a little bit interesting. It's definitely older, obviously, because, well, this is a St. Louis car. These are the street cars. These are the ones that, this is a 13. So that's, this is what they used to run. They used to run on uh, tracks kind of near here. But this is actually what this all used to look like. These are no uh, air conditioning in here at all. They had a couple of fans, including one for the driver right here. But that's about it. Had a whole bunch of door and light things here. Gas and brake. <laughs> Obviously don't need a steering wheel because you're on trolley tracks. But yeah, it's just kind of neat to see how far we've come. There's also, as Sarah pointed out, there's a bunch of ads up here. The new look. This is the new look in trackless trolleys. Re reconditioned for your riding comfort and pleasure. So that's actually funny, because that ad was originally supposed to be placed in the trackless trolleys. Not these, then, if you, if you think about it. Mm -hmm. That ad is not in for one of these. It's actually for a trackless trolley. Yeah, it is. But yeah, it's just kind of a neat look to just kind of see how these trolleys have come. And I mean, not that the, the trolleys that we have that run the, the one 
one something roots, like the 13 and the 11 or whatever, are exactly modern by any standard. But it's just kind of neat to go take a look. So this one was heading this way. I really want to know where it is, but somewhere I actually have one of those signs. Not from one of these, but actually an old AB selector from the L. From the old L's. I actually have one of those somewhere. And yes, they have trolley track in the floors too. Those trucks are back. Anyway, we are now turning onto State Road. This is State Road in Croydon, where we took the, the ramp right by the station. It kind of goes right under the station so we can get here because we figured it would actually be kind of nice to be able to, to essentially take State Road back and we'll drive right by uh, Eddington and uh, Cornwall Heights because why not? Now if you will show me, you will notice my lovely little SEPTA hat. One of the many things I got at the uh, at the store and we'll obviously show them off a little bit when we get home. Uh, what else do we get there? We got I got a new mouse pad, not one of the Braille map mouse pad, one that just has the Transportation Authority's logo on it. Um, so I got that now to I don't know, not replace the old one by by far. They did have new versions of that, by the way, that didn't have all the R numbers. We got another R5 sign that went not un unlike the other one that said going to Parks uh, Parksburg. This one says Thor Thorndale Malvern, so it's a more recently updated R5 sign. We got a really cool sign that I, I'm going to have to just show off because I don't know exactly how to describe it because it's, I, th I think it's made some vlog appearances before, but not to the point where I would be able to point them out because there's a couple of signs floating. Actually, we can probably show it off when we go past, if I take station up. But there's signs that were active for a while for where to catch the shuttle buses and a couple of them are actually still out and I never took them back. But yeah, some of the lines actually had shuttle bus locations and they have signs that designate those. And I've got uh, one of those in my bag now. And I actually know where one of them is that they never actually bothered to pick up, which is kind of neat. I also got another SEPTA or a new SEPTA mug. I think we've had it, I think I had one from years and years and years ago. But I got that. So now I can drink out of that. And then, am I forgetting one thing? I think that's it, right? I think that's it. I got the hat already. So we're good. All right, so yeah, the sign is actually, I believe, right after we pass under the station. I think there's one over if you'll be towards the side of the road. <coughs> on that side, once we actually go under the station. Because it'll be um, pretty neat. Because I've got one of those, except for, I think this one is shuttled to Center City, and the one I have is shuttled to Trenton. There's no one behind me, so I can actually stop a little bit and show it down. Yeah, see, R7 shuttle to the shuttle bus to Center City. You see it over there? Did you get it? Yeah, I got it. Yep, yeah, because now I've got one of those that says shuttle bus to Trenton. Which is actually kind of just, it's just kind of neat. I guess, my guessing, yeah. I'm guessing they didn't actually bother to pick up the ones in the suburbs. Just because that would have been a lot of work, but they probably took down all the ones in Center City. That's just my guess though, because most of the ones they had down there for, they had ones for the R3 and the R5 as well. And most of them were to their outbound locations. So that's my guess, is that they, for the most part, were, were just picking up the ones in Center City, if I had to guess. And we've got one of those now that'll probably go on the wall in the studio. <laughs> right? Yeah. Let's put it up sometime. Probably today. Probably. <laughs> Happy anniversary. Yeah. Happy anniversary. So I did get you a second present, it's just simply not here yet. Those actually look like really, really cool. That looks even better in person. You like it? Yeah. Thank you. Happy anniversary. <laughs> well, to show off a few of the other things I got. So first off, here's the mouse pad. I moved it over here. Even though I could switch it out for my, my old CompUSA one that I have. Because the other one is in service here. Here's a Thorndale sign to complement the Parksburg sign I have. 
up outside of my room. Still not sure exactly where that's going to go yet, but also, I have this here now. Because why not?